uh, several of our customers call and say they have RFI and it's affecting uh, their equipment. RFI is radio frequency interference and very often this interference is set up by other devices which are radiating and the cables that are attached to their equipment are working like antennas uh, or the uh, equipment they're trying to use, not necessarily radios, are receiving interference on the cables. This is all because of usually common mode currents which are on the, on the cables. One customer called and said his computer server lines and his telecommunic telecommunication lines were receiving interference from shop equipment. Uh, this equipment, he said, was generating interference at around 28 megahertz. Uh, 28 megahertz would be uh, a good frequency for our mix 31 toroids and beads to handle and I recommended that he use our uh, mix 31 ferrite beads on the cables that he could not uh, detach that is a snap over the cable. The ones that he could uh, remove and uh, work on I would recommend our toroids, which are like circular rings, and he would stick the cable through and wrap maybe five turns. The five turns is a good number because that gets a high impedance to the common mode current. Basically, the common mode current is a current set up on the outside of the cable, which is generated by these RF, RF sources or radio frequency interference sources. After he did this, he had very good results and he was very happy about this. I don't know why this guy called DX Engineering because we're a radio company, but uh, maybe he uh, you know, s did a search on RFI because had some feeling that this was a radio interference from his equipment, which he was right, and he actually made a good call. Common mode current is current on basically on the outside of the braid of the coax. The normal current in a uh, coax can is composed of a center conductor and an outside braid conductor. And the current normally goes in one direction in the center conductor and the opposite direction on the braid. And the way things work, the normal current is on the inside of the braid. And if there's interference on the outside of the braid, that's normally going in the opposite direction of that current and is on the outside of the braid. It's noise or causes your uh, equipment not to operate. Yes, I have a handy talkie, a little radio hand radio, and I started transmitting in that and my TV uh, started hit listening to me, which was bad. And basically what was happening, it was setting up common mode current on the cable going into the TV and wrapping that cable with a few toroid rings or putting the coax through a toroid ring with about a few wraps. That eliminated that so I could sit in the living room and talk on my handy talkie and not interfere with my wife's TV program. Ferrite comes in different mixes. It's ferrite is a common mode for iron. It's an iron powder that is, and it basically has properties of, uh, you know, uh, permeability properties for magnetic flux currents, if you understand that. But some of them have frequency ranges that they're good at, and some have uh, some that they're not good at. Uh, mix 31 is pretty good from uh, you know low frequencies to higher frequencies. That's pretty much the universal one. But we do sell uh, ones that have uh, good applications on certain frequencies. Mix 75 or 77 are used on lower frequencies such as 160 meters to a ham. And those may be a little better than mix 31 on those frequencies. We sell mix 61 which is much better for UHF and VHF. Um, that, that probably would have done a little better on my handy talkie interference.